let's go back. You're 12 years old. You went through a vicious, violent rape. You were in a coma as a result for five days, stitched up. As a result, you can't have children? 99% chance that I can't. Yeah. Which is pretty much saying no. Yeah. And you, you had that, you learned that at the time. Yes, the doctor came in and told me that before I was released. Mm -hmm. Walk us through what happened in your case when you were 12 years old. Um, my mom was sending me to the church with some friends. It was a couple blocks away. And I wanted to ride my bicycle because it was still light. And after it was over, she was going to pick me and the bicycle up. But before I made it there, I was yanked off the bicycle by two guys, which one was underage, so they're not able to bring him up. Mm -hmm. um, I was taken. I was um, taken on a road. I was trying to get out. First, I told them I wasn't going with them, and I was going to try to leave, and they wouldn't let me. They yanked me off the bicycle, and I was taken out on a road somewhere. And by that time, pretty much my clothes was ripped off of me, and I was screaming and crying, and I couldn't get nobody's attention. It was like this road. All I could see was fields, and. They they raped me there, and they beat me so bad that I think they thought I was dead when they left. But I remember him saying, you like it, don't you? You like it. You want more of it. You're 12 years old. Um, you were in a coma for five days after? Yes, sir. I crawled to a porch that I still don't know where it is to this day, and they were coming back to finish me off. And this lady turned a porch light on. Uh, I was told it was a lady. Is how I know that. I have no idea who it is today. Yeah. And and that's what saved me. She got their tag number, and um, I, I I fell out at that time, and I woke up five days later. And and, and you, you it was so brutally violent. You needed stitches. You were you were brutally raped. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hillary Clinton said she did a favor to, for a friend to be the attorney for the accused in this case. And as we just played, I had him take a polygraph test, which he passed, which forever destroyed my faith in polygraphs, and then she laughed. She was bragging about getting this guy off. Now, he faced 30 years to life. He ended up getting off with time served. So my question to you is when you hear those words and her bragging about that case, a fascinating case as she calls it, what do you, what do you, what is she communicating there? Uh, that she's going to win her first case, whatever it takes, if she has to lie, cheat, or steal. Doesn't it also imply that she thinks he's guilty? Yes, sir, definitely. Which forever destroyed my faith. Oh in yeah, polygraphs. oh yeah, she thinks she's guilty, or she wouldn't have said that. As part of the court filings in this case... I don't think she thinks. She knows. She knew. Yes, yeah, she knew he was guilty. As part of the court filings, she filed an affidavit, and she wrote that she had been informed... This is talking about you, the victim, was a girl that was emotionally unstable, had a tendency to seek out older men and engage in, quote, fantasizing. I'd also been told by an expert in child psychology that children in early adolescence tend to exaggerate or romanticize sexual experiences and adolescents in disorganized families such as complainants are even more prone to exaggerate behavior. My mom was a very strict mother on me. Matter of fact, when I was 18, it was almost impossible to do anything then, but at that time, after what happened to me, I didn't want to do anything. Understandable. All um, of those things, Sean, that, that Hillary Clinton put in that affidavit were intended to force uh, Kathy to undergo further psychiatric evaluations and interrogations. They were all things that were intended to portray her as a liar, someone who made up this rape, that if there was a rape, it, that if there was sex, it was consensual at her age as a virgin of 12 years old. And all of those tactics are things that you would never expect some sort of women's rights advocate to engage in because that blaming the victim that is blaming the victim Don't and we have rape shield laws and that prohibit this. Mo now? Almost every state now would prohibit those tactics, and you would expect someone like Hillary Clinton, uh, some sort of uh, self-proclaimed feminist who cares about women and children, to not need a rape shield law in order to zealously defend uh, a client without engaging in the in the tactics of blaming the victim. Kathy, obviously, this has impacted you your whole life. What do you want the American people to hear out of this?
That, it's pretty obvious she knew this guy was guilty. Just she, about every speech that I've seen Hillary do, she says, I'm for women and children. Mm -hmm. And if she was for children, she would have not put me through what I went through. Last question. This election is in 26 days. She does, she's running as, isn't it time for, to be, for a woman to be president of the United States? Not like that. Hmm. The world won't last with her in it because she's going to lie, cheat, and steal to get what she wants.